the agency that I work with are currently and massively recruiting for employers in 10 cities and east surrounding here in England, okay? Guys, they are recruiting for the positions of healthcare assistant workers, support workers, and community care workers, okay? Now, this is a permanent offer. What it means is that it can land you your permanent residency in UK. So guys, keep watching this video to get all the juicy information, the requirements you need, and how you can go ahead and start your application. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chinere, and in this channel, I give information on ways you can use to migrate and work in UK using any sponsorship job, okay? I also collaborate with some agencies here in UK in order to make your job search much more easier, alright? So guys, if you are a new member or you are yet to join us, then click that subscribe button. Also, turn on your post notification bell to always get notified once I post new videos, okay? And to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for all your support, okay? I don't take your love for granted. God bless you all. Now, let's just go ahead into today's topic. Before I continue, I would like you to go and watch my first Xmas vlog which I posted yesterday if you haven't watched it, okay? It's really a nice content, okay? So guys, I would love to hear your honest corrections and suggestions in the comment section of that video, okay? I'll also leave the link in the description box of this particular video. Thank you. A lot of you know that I work with an agency here in UK and I promise you guys that I'll always bring you job offers, okay, once there is anyone available, okay? So guys, in today's video, like I initially mentioned, this agency secured positions of healthcare assistant workers, support workers, and community care workers, okay, with employers in 10 cities here in England, okay, 10 cities and east surrounding, okay? So guys, this offer is for those that are already in the UK, okay? Now, don't be offended if you are an overseas applicant, okay? Because once they secure the ones for overseas applicants, I'll still come and make the video, okay? So this particular video is for those that are already in the UK. If you are a student or you are a dependent in the UK or you are just living in the UK, you don't have any job, okay? So guys, if you are a student already in the UK or you are a student planning to come with student visa, come January or September next year, then guys, this is a wonderful offer for you, okay? Because once you land in UK, you don't need to start, start looking for jobs. These jobs are already there for you, okay? Guys, the reason why this agency went out of their way to look for employers that can give jobs to people or students or dependents already in UK is just to reduce the rate of struggle and frustration that a lot of students pass through, okay? You won't believe it, okay? I came with a student visa and I can testify to this. When we initially arrived, a lot of us for like three months couldn't find any job, okay? Even here in London that I stayed. Not, up, not until like four to you know, three to four months before you can start seeing employers that can employ you. So, if you know any student in UK or any dependent or people that are planning to come by 2023, either January, September, anytime, any group they are, try and share this video to reach them, okay? So that they can contact me and go ahead with their application, okay? If you are coming next year, then try to subscribe to my channel so that you will keep updated, okay? Because getting this job immediately will help you to pay off some of your bills and expenses in, in UK, okay? Now, let me just go ahead and read out the requirements that you need for these particular jobs, okay? The requirements for the healthcare assistant workers and support workers include, number one, you need your CV, then your cover letter, then your DBS check, okay? Then your identity card, that is what they can use to identify you, such as your BRP, okay? 
then you don't need driving license for this job okay this is healthcare or support worker you don't need driving license because you actually be working in the nursing homes okay so guys remember in your cv and cover letter you need to state that you're coming to work as a healthcare assistant or support worker okay state the role you want to come and work in the organization don't just write i'm coming to do a care job you need to write and specify you're coming to work as a healthcare assistant remember to tailor your cv to suit that of a healthcare assistant worker all the experiences should be related now for the community workers okay the requirements include your cv of course your cover letter your dbs check your identity okay such as your brp or or indefinite leave to remain any id you can just show that you are already in uk and then you need a driver's license okay you should also own a car because you will transport yourself as a community care worker you'll be going is more of like domiciliary carer you'll be going house to house okay to render care to your clients okay so these are just basically the requirements you need whether you have um experience or not feel free to apply while you can go ahead to florence academy and just obtain the free 15 k standard trainings and get your certificates with that you are good to go okay so guys i'll go ahead and list the cities that these jobs are needed okay so these jobs are needed in birmingham canterbury and tanet kemsford foxstone and Duffe, gravesham and dartford hertfordshire Maystone, Northampton, Southampton, Tombridge and Tombridge Wales, okay, and East surrounding, okay, and East neighboring towns, okay. So, guys, like I said, this is a massive recruitment. So, as you can see, I will display these settings on the screen so that you can, you know, copy them out, okay, while you um, start up your application. So, guys, when you are writing your application like they specify, you need to state the role you are coming, if it's healthcare assistant or support worker or community carer, then, then also, you remember to, you know, indicate the city you are interested to work in, okay, you have to indicate now a lot of you will be wondering whether these care homes are going to give you certificate of sponsorship so i'm going to address that issue now okay we all know that employers and care homes in uk no longer you know specify that they will be giving certificate of sponsorship anytime they do advertisement this is because some people misuse this opportunity okay it is your performance and how you carry out your work with these employers that will determine whether they will go ahead and give you certificate or sponsorship okay of course most of them are licensed to give certificate or sponsorship but they don't want to be misusing it and be giving it out to people that will not value it okay so guys once you are employed and you take your work serious and they see that you are good in what you are doing of course they will love to retain you okay no employer will want to lose you know any employee that is good in whatever he or she does okay so with that if you are good they will issue you a certificate of sponsorship if you are a student after your studies you don't need your graduate visa again you just apply and they will give you a certificate of sponsorship which will definitely land you your permanent residency in uk okay so i think i have answered now guys as usual you know i'm not going to be leaving um the link here um, on youtube so if you are really interested then join my telegram group okay the link in my telegram group will be in the description box and comment section of this video join the telegram group and indicate that you are a student or you're independent in uk that you, you are interested in the work in uk you're already in uk then i'll go ahead and send you the email okay where you start up your application all right so guys with that being said i'll end my video here thank you for watching and see you in my next video Bye bye